Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will take a case study and we will analyze how design thinking can be applied to that. The scenario that we are taking is with respect to the hospital. The hospital wants to reduce waiting times by increasing the number of doctors. I repeat, a hospital wants to reduce waiting times by increasing the number of doctors. Is it just connected to increasing the number of doctors? That is where we are going to have a strong discussion and we will tune this problem statement with the design thinking perspective. Let's understand and see how things can be done with design thinking approach. The first step in any design thinking process is to empathize. Yes, we need to understand the user's need. We can go ahead with multiple methods and the first and foremost approach that we need to follow is to do interview with the patients. Why are they frustrated by long wait times? What impact does this have on their experience? This is all to be clearly understood by having a very clear cut discussion and interviews with patients. Understand that you cannot have a longer interview or so many questions cannot be there in your interview when you are talking with the patients because they are already in a different mode and they are frustrated. Ensure that your questions are short and sweet. Second is shadowing staff. Observe how doctors, nurses, the admin staff handle the patient flow. Are there inefficiencies in the process? You may have to sit there in the hospital for a day or so. Observe the entire flow and understand how things work. You need to shadow the staff and engage the frontline staff. You need to get inputs from the receptionist, nurses, caretakers who interact with the patient first. What delays do they see from their perspective? They may give you some fantastic inputs, which is going to be very helpful for you to bring a solution for the problem taken. Right. The next very important thing we need to go ahead with is the generation of insights. The insights that we can get out of the discussions that we have made in the previous step is first one, the patients are frustrated by unclear communication about the waiting times. Most of the hospitals have this problem. The patients really get frustrated and that's because of the unclear communication they have about the waiting times. A significant amount of time is really spent in non-medical tasks like the paperwork, patient intake, all these are happening in most of the hospitals and you could definitely observe this when you discuss with the people whom you met in the first stage. Doctors are overwhelmed by the administrative duties as well. So they cannot spend their time effectively with the patients. So from the first step, you have done an interview, you have shadowed the staff, you have also discussed with the frontline staff, you could probably get into an understanding that these are all the insights that are delaying, that are frustrating, that are giving bad experience to the patients. Now, we have to reframe the problem based on the understanding that we have gotten in the first stage. You have already gathered insights. You have gathered insights from the empathy stage. Now, redefine the problem. Focus on the root cause rather than just increasing the number of doctors. Now, we are going to reframe the problem nicely. How might we streamline the hospital's patient flow and improve communication to reduce waiting times while maximizing doctor's time for patient care? That's it. We rephrased it. It is not number of doctors that matters. It is how do they spend time matters. How might we streamline matters? How might we streamline the hospital's patient flow and improve the communication to reduce waiting times while maximizing doctor's time for patient care? This looks more meaningful, isn't it? The problem statement here not just focuses on number of doctors, but it focuses on improving overall experience for the patients, staff, and potentially this could be more effective as well. Next step is ideation. We will go ahead with ideating different range of solutions. Digital check-in systems can be the first. You can allow patients to complete forms before arrival. It can reduce the waiting room congestion. Second, real-time wait updates. It can be via an app or via the big screens that can keep the patients informed and transparent updates about the waiting time will definitely reduce the frustration. Streamlining doctor's workflow is the next option. Delegate non-medical tasks that include documentation to medical assistance or you can automate this kind of work. 
then comes the telemedicine option. For the routine checkup, it can be telemedicine, which will definitely reduce the congestion inside the hospital, reducing in-person crowding. Redesign the waiting room experience. Please go ahead with creating a comfortable, engaging environment. Can be entertainment based, informative health content, which can really improve the patient's satisfaction and they will gain something out of the waiting time that they spend in the waiting hall. So it could be real good experience for them. The next stage is going to be prototyping. We are going to create tangible representations. We can build prototypes for digital check-in system where the patient's complete intake forms can be automated and it's going to be through digital mode which is an app. A real-time weight display system can be built where it's going to give transparent update about waiting time. A doctor's time reallocation plan where the medical assistants take over administrative tasks allowing doctors to focus more on patient's care can also be built. All this can be prototyped and you can check if things are getting better. Go ahead, gather the user feedback through testing. Digital check-ins can help in reduce paperwork time, but some older patients may need assistance. This is one of the very important inputs that you need to think about. And this kind of inputs will come from the testing phase where you gather user feedback. Waiting time updates via SMS can improve the patient satisfaction and definitely they will feel informed and they will feel happy. Doctors report that delegating non-medical tasks significantly increases their available time for patient consultation. This could be a feedback from the doctors and that can make us understand what we want to do is right and that's how we have to work. And finally, we have to go ahead and iterate. You need to refine and improve the solutions. Provide on-site support for older patients who are not very comfortable with digital check-ins. Wait time notification system can be further improved and it can be done via multiple channels, not only SMS. It can be an app, it can be display board. Think versatile and think more. You can get better solutions. Find in workflows for doctors. You can ensure that they focus on high value tasks while delegating the low value, non important tasks to other staff. And final design thinking solution would be get a digital check in system, real time wait or time updates, delegation of non medical tasks, telemedicine options, waiting room experience improvement. All these can make your hospital experience fantastic. So now go ahead and read the problem statement once more and see if you've gotten solution for it. A hospital wants to reduce waiting times by increasing number of doctors. It is not just number of doctors, it's various aspects connected to it. And that's what our design thinking reveal. I hope you like the session. If you have any opinions, insights, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be very glad to take it up and answer your questions. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.